Hey, this is Dave Blair here, and um, we're doing a little bit of a guitar experiment today. So, uh, one thing, if you're a guitar player, you know, um, some guitars uh, have single coil pickups, Stratocasters, Telecasters, and, and any number of other guitars. This is a, a an ASAT uh, Special, which is kind of like a Telecaster, g &L version of a Telecaster, but it has, it's ASAT Special, which means it has these pickups that are not your traditional uh, Telly pickups, they're a little bit kind of like P90-ish pickups. They're not technically P90s, but they're, they have that kind of quality, that mid-range, and it's a thicker than a, a typical Telly, a little punchier. Uh, but they're very clear. Well, it's one thing that people like about you know single coil pickups is they're very clear, they're, they're rarely muddy. And these ASAT special pickups, they have a, they're very bright, but they're not really harsh, and you know, or. Uh, but anyway, um, the point being is that with all the benefits of, of the single coil, coil pickups, who have a very distinctive sound, it's great for recording, they cut through a mix uh, nicely. Uh, but here's the problem. Hear that hum? When you have the two combined, you don't get the hum, but when you have a single coil by itself, you have that. And then if you put some gain on it, you got a lot of hum, a lot of buzz, or buzz and hum, 60 cycle hum, whatever you want to call it, or interference frequencies, both of those things. Um, so what I'm, uh, my test today is going to be, is one, I want to get a level on how much hum I'm getting, dirty and clean. And then I'm going to compare that. I'm going to basically take the guitar apart and do some shielding inside around the wiring, especially, and see if that makes any difference, at least on some of the interference sounds. And maybe there's there's no fluorescent lights in here, but sometimes you know who knows what's what's in here. The computer or whatever might be affecting that and causing that 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 buzz. So we're going to do a comparison and see if it made any difference. The ASAT where I'm working on the um, shielding. So it comes with already has like a metal plate in the back uh, where the uh, little controls are, but then I did paint around here. I used the um, bare, bare conductive, which is re recommended, electric paint. And then I um, did just a copper shielding tape all under the pickups and everything. And one thing you got to remember is you can't just layer the tape above, on top of the tape because the sticky part on the back is not conductive. And they all, you know, it's they say it should all be kind of connected electrically. So I'll flip over the edge of one piece to touch the top of the other piece so that it's conductive throughout. Or you could just put a piece of solder or conductive paint. Uh, but I just did it all you know, with the tape. There's plenty of videos on how to do this the right way, so don't rely on me. But basically, just showing you what I did. I'm going to see if this helps with the... Um, I also did a little twisting. You know, they say it's good to twist these the cables um, to the pickups together so that it creates um, some kind of phase thing with the hum, the 60 cycle hum potentially. So I just twisted those because they were just out there free. Uh, if this doesn't work, maybe I'll consider maybe replacing these with shielded wires or something. Uh, but um, theoretically this should make a noticeable difference. Okay, this is day two, so last night I spent some time and I put the, uh, the shielding tape. I'll, s I'll show some pictures. And uh, so let's see if there's any difference in this. Um, there's still hum, obviously. So let's see, this is uh, same, all same settings, same everything. And then we'll put the distortion on. So it's definitely still noisy, but uh, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison uh, when I edit the video. How much hum I'm getting? Dirty. Dirty. Okay, so what have we learned? Uh, I checked back at the video and you just saw I went back and forth between the clips and I did notice a difference. I was just actually surprised because after uh, I did the shielding, I turned it on, I'm like, oh, I'm still getting buzzed, and it still seems kind of loud to me. But when I actually compared it to the pr uh, before and after, there was a noticeable difference. Uh, one thing on the video, um, 
when it was clean, you really, I heard it in the room, but you really you didn't really pick it up on the, on the video microphone for, for whatever reason. I have a, a 906 right on the cabinet, so clean, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but but when, as soon as you put some gain on there, it was obviously very loud, but then, you know, it, it definitely took it back a noticeable amount, which I was happy to hear. And one thing I didn't notice, didn't point out in the video is the pick guard was also shielded on the back side. So if you don't do the pickup, um, that's probably the most important parts because that's, you know, getting interference coming through with the plastic pickup. Uh, I would assume probably even more so than the bank, you know, the, side, the sides of the wood. But, um, and then also the tape has to be on the, over the top of the edge so that when you put the pip guard on with the, the metal, it connects to the metal of the shielding from the inside of the body and it creates a complete, uh, um, you know, connected, you know, supposedly it should all be connected so it all goes to that one ground. And there's plenty of videos on it, so don't use my video to, on how to do it, but it's just a test of seeing how much of a difference it would make. I don't understand why they don't just shield completely every guitar, especially a, a decent high-end. You know, GNLs are not cheap guitars. Something like this new was probably like 1600 easy, um, maybe, you know, give or take. Uh, I don't know, a high-end $3,000 guitar, uh, $3, guitars I've, I've had. And none of them come completely shielded, maybe, you know. Uh, and, and if they have single coil pickups, I think that should be like mandatory. Because that buzz is, is, is terrible. <laughs> Especially if you're using any kind of gain, uh, which everybody does at least so at some times. But anyway, but that's what we learned. I'm glad I did it. Uh, and I'll probably try it on the Stratocaster next. I don't know if I'll do a video for that as well. But the, this one thing, this ASAT sounds fantastic. And it just, there's a certain sound of P90 or single coil or ASAT special pickups. Um, that you just can't get from Humbucker because a clear punch that you get, and it's awesome. But the noise is just you know, you know. so. Um, but that, that's something I would recommend on any guitar that is heavily used if, if at, a, at a gain setting at least. But anyway, that's my conclusion. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. So uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think, and uh, see you in the next video.